hey remember the world is yours baby manifest it so today we going over business education remember i told y'all that we was going to be doing that along with gaming vlog and all that other stuff i haven't got to it but today i'm going to hold up my end of the bargain all right so i'm going to be showing y'all how to form an llc and this is going to be based out of uh texas but this same tactic the same strategy could be used any other state this way that you don't have to pay companies like uh what's that one company called uh 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 legal zoom this way that you don't have to pay companies like legal zoom like 500 dollars or however uh, absurd amount of money that they're asking just to file some papers for you with the state which i'm about to show you how to do right now so not only can you avoid paying this money but this is also a business venture that you can set up as well you can do the same thing legal zoom doing i'm giving away the sauce for free because i told y'all would all right so let's go ahead and get into it okay in the link below there's going to be a secretary of state site where you can go ahead and create a registration for this uh for your llc so you have to create an online account with them and it usually takes them about mm, say about two hours or so for them to send you the information over all right and they want to send you a login pin so you'll send, you'll put all your information in you'll end up on this page right here with the acknowledgement agreement you're going to click i agree all right so you see this page you click i accept all right so now it says on there that you successfully submitted a request for your subscription sos direct uh blah 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 blah, blah, blah. all right call that number whatever all right uh what else once approved uh, your login you're going to use that information right there that user id thank you office of the secretary of state all right so that's all it's going to be all right y'all so we're here on the secretary of state website this is the one for texas i'm going to leave all the links in the description below as well so in the clip that i just had before that i showed you guys i signed up for a secretary of state user id and i had the password that i had created myself all right so they'll go ahead and they'll email you blah 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 so i got my code right here you'll get a direct uh email from them after like what it took me about two hours an hour and a half whatever all right so i got my code i'm gonna go ahead and copy my code that's my login code just go ahead and copy that and paste that Okay, so now it's going to bring you up to the credit card page all right on this credit card page uh, you just click continue because you already put this information in prior now they're going to ask you to re-input it the reason they're going to ask you for this information is because i'll get to it in a second don't worry they're not going to charge you right here just go ahead and put the money uh your card in the card that you're going to be using to purchase your uh soon name and your uh form your llc or whatever company you plan on forming this works for every other company as well. So it doesn't necessarily uh, just close you and went straight LLC, but I am showing you for most people, they're gonna be creating an LLC for their companies, all right? Click continue. All right, so look, it says, you are logged into the uh, direct website, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, this information is necessary. You can copy this, uh, session code right here and with that session code i mean you can keep it for your own records just in case you never get your stuff which i highly doubt is going to happen but me i i'm cautious like that about everything anytime i spend even a dollar i want i want to have whatever i paid for i don't care how much money i spend you can call me petty if you want all right so now you're going to go up here to the top where it says business organizations all right so first things first you want to go to business organizations and right here where it says name availability search we're going to click that all right so this is important it says enter the proposed name and press search now every time you search a name that you want remember that there's going to be a one dollar fee for each name that you search all right each name that you search is going to be a one dollar fee it doesn't take it immediately but it will by like next day i think mine came out like the next day or so so make sure you have a dollar in there all right you search 10 times you're gonna spend ten dollars so find a name a unique name that way you don't have to spend too much money so the entity name you already know where we going i already got it up here real world search my name i just spent a dollar y'all so please at least leave me a like subscribe you know comment whatever show love all right so uh right here where it says i searched my name real world right and i'm looking down here 
and usually whatever name that you're searching whether it be i have another company called uh swift international investment co right usually if it, if I, somebody had that name if i search that name it would be on this first page so brew world would have been on this first page or, you know what i'm saying the first page or second page so i'm gonna scroll through just to make sure see i'm going to the next page just to make sure there's an old world there's bernie's world there's break old world bernie's world <laughs> saying they got all type of worlds but there's only one brew world you know what i'm saying all right so cool there's no brew world that's perfect all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to this page right here business organizations and i'm gonna click that again all right so now i'm going to right here where it says reservation of formation of registration documents all right and i'm gonna click i'm gonna go right here where it says Hmm, I'm gonna do a domestic limited liability company. That's an LLC, domestic LLC. Alright. And you can also, if you look through here, there's all other types of ones. You got limited liability partnership, limited partnership, nonprofit corporate uh corporations, which are good for 501c3s, which I will do another video on 501c3s as I start learning more about it. I want to make sure that I know exactly what I'm talking about before I give you guys a video on it. I'm giving y'all the sauce, you know what I'm saying? All all this is the sauce, you know what I'm saying? All right, so uh, you got for-profit corporations, blah, blah, blah. And it's a foreign limited liability companies, all right? But we're going for domestic, all right? We're going to click that. We're going to click file document, all right? Where it says filing type. I'm gonna click that it's gonna be certificate of formation that's what we want all right so limited liability company is the name of the the name of the limited liability company is set forth below all right so where it says right here name availability search we don't have to uh we don't have to do that it says it's recommended but we already did that you know what i'm saying we already did that ahead of time so we're gonna go ahead and go straight to put my name in there brew world LLC. And we're gonna click continue. You know what I'm saying? So now this is where you're gonna put all your information in here. Doe. John. Yep, we're gonna do uh what's the address we're gonna put in there? We're gonna put in five. Oh, hold up. We're gonna put in one, two, three, four, five. Bulk Road, whatever that is. I don't know. Miami, whatever. Oh no, hold up. I'm in Texas, I forgot I'm in Texas. I can't do that. So I'm gonna put, uh, what am I gonna put where I live? San Marcos. Can't give away my sauce, so I can't give away where I live. Sorry, I'm sorry. Let's put San Antonio. I'm gonna put seven, eight, two, one, eight. Boom. Continue. It says cons consent attached, consent on file with entity. All right, consent on file with entity. That's what you want to go with. All right. Uh, governing authority. The limited liability company is to be managed by managers. The name of that. Blah, blah, blah. So you're going to put the same information. You're going to add a manager. Now let's go back with Doe. Okay, Doe. Doe. John. One, two, three, four, five. Bulk Road. San Antonio. Seven, eight, two, one, eight. We're going to update that. And now that is our governing person. That's going to be the person who runs the LLC. That's going to be John Doe. All right, we're going to click continue. Uh, Letter of consent. We don't need that. We can go ahead and continue through that. Uh, Organizer, we can continue through that. We don't need that. Oh, we do need it. Hold up. So the organizer is... Hold up. Damn, I'm giving away all my personal information. Let me block all that out. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Bulk Road. Continue. All right, signature. 
signature of organizer uh john doe no continue all right so you see now at this point it's going to give me all my information again for blue world llc all my information you want to check over all this information and make sure that it is correct once it's correct you're going to click submit filing you see the submit filing i don't really want to hover over it because i'm going to be very pissed off if i accidentally click submit filing and have to pay 300 dollars for something i don't already have all right so i'm gonna pick uh i'm gonna do 300 uh 300 you're gonna submit that and this is something that you have to pay you can't avoid paying this if you're in the state of texas or whatever te state you're in they require you to pay money in order to uh, file a business with them all right so now what you want to do you'll click submit filing boom after about you'll get an email an email is going to tell you that oh thank you for your purchase like any other thing you spend online right and then in a few days like a day or two a few days they're going to send you over all your documents they'll send over all your documents letting you know that you are now an llc owner so yeah that's the sauce don't get lost in the sauce don't get lost in the sauce once y'all create that business that llc then you want to just go up to your local courthouse on my i'm in san antonio so it'd be bear county you want to go to your local courthouse and then you want to go ahead and get something called an assumed name this way that nobody else can have your name in your, in your state or your city you have your assumed name you have your llc now you're ready for business now remember the the assumed name is very important because without the assumed name you cannot go to create a business account you can't create a business account with any company i mean with any bank without having the assumed name so that's very important hey if y'all like this video go ahead and leave a like leave a comment subscribe hey man remember the world is yours baby